I'm Tom Varner, and welcome to another Adventure in TV Land. And today, I'm at the Jefferson Barracks Telephone Museum in St. Louis. Now, for those of you who might not know, Jefferson Barracks is the oldest military institution west of the Mississippi River in the United States. It's been here since 1826. There have been uh, military forces of various sorts that have been here, stationed here, from pre-Civil War on. The museum is housed in an old com commander's quarters here at Jefferson Barracks. There's a baby bell sign in the window. Hello, baby bell. Outside, there's this bench that's painted like a telephone. So you might library. So this is an honor roll of Southwestern Bell employees who served in the greater St. Louis area during World War II. The gold names of people who were killed in action. Look how thick that wire is. It's heavy duty. Look at all the variety of telephones that were here. That one's cool. One that scissored arm from the wall. Notes the red phone, Mr. President. Mr. President, it's the red phone. Those are called plungers. I'd hate to see the toilet they have to unclog. Good grief. There's even a telegraph key here. The horse code. What I'm really impressed by are these little baby telephones. The little baby phones. Oh, they're so big, they're so small and tiny. Some more baby phones, but those are called princess okay, phones. So, what we have on the wall up here is called a gift. I remember seeing things like that on old TV shows when someone needed to break into a line to eavesdrop. They used devices like that. Pretty cool. Southwestern Bell. The linemen, the real heroes of the telephone company.
this just isn't a telephone book. It's the telephone book. I'm really digging the signage here. I think my favorite is that one. Because it's in German, I believe. It, it means public telephone in German. Oft Fernsprecher. I bet that red, white, and blue candy stick phone was made for the American Bicentennial. Now that's a weird looking phone. They're called the Cobra phone. Cobra! I bet G.I. Joe doesn't use those. And that's really cool. It's an autographed photo of Lily Tomlin. Fire phone, fire phone, <laughs> fire phone, fire phone. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. This switchboard here was actually a presidential switchboard and served Johnson, Nixon, Ford, and Carter. Whenever they were in St. Louis, this was the switchboard that they made calls through to reach Washington, D.C. That's very impressive. That is one of the first video conferencing systems. You would have to hook the camera up there, which was connected to your telephone, and then connect it to your computer monitor. Or computer, I guess. What really caught my eye was the rainbow zebra. Have you ever seen her? I've never seen a rainbow zebra before, but now I have. For my mom, and say, telephone cord reef. All right, look at all these cool telephones. There's a frog phone, a high heel shoe phone, a Lego phone, the Mickey phone, a Pac-Man phone, the Kermit phone, two Kermit phones. I think my favorite though is a Tyrannosaurus Rex phone. There's also two Snoopy phones. Corn phone. I bet you can really hear on that one. That has to be the coolest spy phone ever. The measuring tape phone. That 
that's Mr. Alexander Graham Bell. And he's got the whole world in his hand. It's a wall of phones. A wall of telephones. Yeah. How's it going? Yeah, it's uh, it's Tom. Yeah, I'm at the uh, Jefferson Barracks Telephone Museum. Yep. All right. Well done. All right. See you then. Bye. I gotta say, I really wasn't sure what to expect from that museum, but it was really interesting. Uh, if you ever get here on a Saturday, make sure you stop and talk to Fred. He is full of history and all kinds of stories, and uh, he made the trip more than worthwhile. Some sort of animal poop, my guess would be deer that's uh, by a tree outside of the museum here. Now the Jefferson Barracks Telephone Museum is completely run and operated on a volunteer staff. Right now it's only on the first level. They have a ton of stuff at the second level but it'll cost $50,000 to put in a elevator so that it can be handicapped accessible. Well, this has been another adventure in TV land from the Jefferson Barracks Telephone Museum. If you liked, hit the like button. If you disliked, hit the dislike button. Subscribe, ring the bell. Thanks for watching. Until next time.